Hello everyone and good morning, good afternoon. Um, hope all is well with you. Um, so this morning at 5 a.m. I started hearing about actions. You know, we've heard the term that every action has a reaction. And so we're going to get more into this. But first, we, as always, must pray. Um, so, Lord God, we thank you, Father, for this word that we're about to hear on today. We thank you, Lord God, by um, for your leading of your Holy Spirit, Lord God, and the way that we should go. We thank you, Lord God, for clarifying and showing us, Lord God, about our actions actions and how these actions not only double now but also triple um, according to your will Lord God however you see fit Lord God and so we thank you Lord God for your word we thank you Lord God for opening up our eyes to see our ears to hear and our hearts to be receptive to the what you're saying today, Lord God, continue to give us understanding, continue, Father, to give us revelation, continue to lead us and to guide us into your truth in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, we will forever give you all the praise, all the glory and all the honor for it all belongs to you. Thank God and amen. So going back to this morning you know first of all once again welcome to purposely design I'm your speaker Angela and I heard this morning about actions now we heard the term that every action has a reaction. But the Bible says it just like this. Be not deceived in um, Galatians 6 and 7. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting and let us not be weary in well doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not so this is telling us that regardless as to if we um, sow in the spirit, are we sow to the flesh? If we sow to do good, are we sow to do bad? Regardless as to how we sow, we are going to get a reaction. <laughs> and I saw it. I, I heard it just like this. I mean, I saw it just like this. It was like um, a vision. And, you know, I knew what it was. Uh, it's, I can't even explain this vision. But it was like I saw it multiply. It's, it's like action, reaction, reaction, reaction. Like it just, it tripled. And so here we're talking about actions and so like I said I saw these actions reaping three times as great as the action itself as if reaction was triple the action it was triple the action so the reaction to your action is three times the effect of your action. I don't know if it's just because it's 2023 or what, but I saw actions 
reacting, not double, but triple. That word that stuck out in this scripture was, For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. This is why Romans 10 and 17 says, So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing. This is a this is a sowing into the spirit. Because faith is not just a word, nor is it an object, but faith is by far a spirit. And I'm going to show you in Jude 1 and 20. It says, but ye beloved, building up yourself on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Okay, so praying in the Holy Ghost, is that natural or is that supernatural? It's spiritual, right? You know, and so building up your most holy faith is spiritual and the way we build it up is by the word of God hearing and hearing hearing by the word of God faith is indeed a spiritual muscle in which you must you will obtain you know so we have to Keep exercising our faith by hearing and hearing the word of God. Um, And so some people have, you know, they complain about, oh, my God, it's so many scriptures that are that. But and oh, my goodness, she reads so much. But you know what? This is a a faith building course like God is building up your faith. He builds us up through his word. And so the more word we get inside of us, the more God builds up our faith, not just by because you're not just receiving um, biblical facts, but you're also receiving the actual word of God is going forth because this is what he has given me. Um, And so, you know, even what you hear, the words that he speaks is also his word. And so you got the word of God that came actually from his mouth to, you know, the biblical factors, his words, you know, the things that was spoken, you know, and that we read that we could actually see, you know, and so recognize that faith and and matter of fact, Hebrews 11, one says now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen for by it, the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith for Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts and by it. Being dead, yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. 